What's up guys, it's Paralyzer here and welcome to Myth Busting Part 21. This video has been a long time in the making and this episode is going to be very different to all the previous ones as this time I'm going to be testing my own myths. A lot of this stuff is new in Grounded 1.2 and I wanted to test some of my own myths as well as a couple of viewer myths that I've been sent in while I've been playing on stream and show you a bunch of different things I found in the game that pretty much no one knows about. Don't forget, as always, to leave your myths in the comments below, and let's get straight into the first myth. Our first myth today is myth. What can and can't you break using the Blaster of the Moldy Matriarch? For those who don't know, this is a new weapon that you can craft by defeating the all-new Infected Broodmother. It's an explosive weapon, and I wanted to put it to the test. First, I tried it on grass. It worked. Then weed stems. Also works. Next, I tried it on mushrooms. Still worked. Rusty nails? Still works. I tested it on as many items as I could, and here are the things it cannot break. For some reason, it's unable to break pine cones. I have no idea why. It can't break the fungal spores or fungus found in the haze either. Like every other explosive, it doesn't work on pond moss. And weirdly, it doesn't work on tier 2 underwater clay nodes but it does work on the tier one underwater clay. So if you were curious, yes, it's a very good tool and can be used to farm almost anything in the game. Our next myth today is myth. Does Apex Predator work with the Blaster of the Moldy Matriarch? Now, the description for the mutation is that it will work for any weapon crafted from boss parts, which the Blaster is, so let's test it. After a few explosions, I eventually propped the effect, which is called Mama Toxins and says, Embracing the power of the Broodmother, you apply massive venom on attack. So this myth is confirmed, it does now have an effect, which envenoms your enemies, which could be really good with the regular Broodmother armor. Today's next myth is myth. Stuff respawns faster in the composter. Now for those who don't know, when you go in the composter, there's a bunch of things, from sour candies to black widows. But did you know that all of the stuff in here has a much faster respawn rate than anywhere else on the map? I think this is intentional and kind of has something to do with the composter being used to speed up processes like decomposition, so it also speeds up respawning of stuff, I guess? Also, sometimes you get two black widows in here, uh, which isn't fun. But this myth is true, stuff definitely respawns faster in here, which helps for getting the sour trinket in particular. The next myth today was discovered by one of my viewers, who goes by the name of Taboo Tyler, and he says, Myth, you can steal koi scales from the koi fish. Now, when I first heard this, I thought it was a joke. Yes, you can hit the koi, but it has no health bar, so surely you can't steal from it. I first tried this with the Bone Dagger, and as you can see, I didn't get any Koi Scales, just as expected. But then I tried it again with the Black Ant Shovel, and after a few hits, I was able to knock off a Koi Scale and pick it up. I continued hitting it and stole another Scale from it. I tried this again without Rascal Rogue or Sticky Fingers, but then I was no longer able to get the Scales. So this myth is confirmed, if you have a black ant shovel and rascal rogue or sticky fingers, you can steal the koi scales from the koi fish. I personally think they should add a rare trinket that you can steal from the koi fish, like a scale of the ocean master or something, that you can equip that makes your swim speed and airtime go up massively and makes you really quick. I think it'd be pretty cool. Following on from that myth, I wanted to also test this on the crow. Myth. Can you steal crow feathers from the giant crow? I went up to the crow with my axe, but I was unable to reach it due to its large hitbox. I tried to build closer, but he hit me off with his wing. I tried again with the scythe of blossoms as it has more range, but I was unable to hit the crow. I'm gonna say this myth is busted. It doesn't seem like you can even lay a finger on the crow. Our next myth today is one I don't like, but I'm gonna test it anyway. Myth, can you cheese the infected broodmother? Now, sadly, some people like to cheese bosses in Grounded, and I don't condone this at all. But, I am going to test if it's possible. So as you can see, I grabbed a bunch of acorn shells and stacked them on the side of the arena where the mushroom is. The more shells you have, the higher you can jump, and the safer you become. So this myth is confirmed. You can get to plenty of safe spots using this method, which allows you to cheese the boss. 
but don't do it. You use my guide instead, then you don't have to cheese it, you can fight it properly. Our next myth today was recommended to me by a viewer called Frost X Rain, and they say, myth, destroying a waft emitter mid-raid will give you the parts back. Let's test it out. I put six spider fans into the waft emitter and began the raid. I took out the infected wolf spiders and left one wolf spider standing as you can't let the raid end. I went back and destroyed the waft emitter, causing the raid to end instantly. This also dropped the waft emitter resources, as well as a bag with all six of my spider fangs in. So this myth is confirmed, you can use this to farm any waft emitter bug for completely free. At least until this is patched. Also remember to use the Sticky Fingers Trinket and Dissection Expert to maximise your drops from raids. Our next myth today won't be here for long. Myth. Spiky burrs are invisible. In Grounded 1.2.3 currently, the spiky burrs are invisible in some people's worlds. When you hit them though, they magically appear from nowhere and you feel like a magician. So this myth is confirmed. Spiky burrs are currently invisible for some strange reason. The next myth I'm going to show you today is one I've been hiding since the statues were added. Myth. You can use the statues to launch yourself across the map. Now this one sounds crazy and it is. All you need is the Mant statue. What you need to do is set it to the hunker down pose and then hop on its back. Then when you reset its pose, it will send you flying across the map. This is a really good way to fast travel if you don't have zip lines, but it'll probably be patched soon. Be warned, it doesn't always work and it may take you a few tries to launch yourself, but it'll be worth it. Thus this myth is confirmed, you can use statues to launch yourself across the entire map. Our next myth today is another fun one. Myth, can you break the turrets to rapid fire them? Now, if you didn't know, the turrets now have new ammo types in Grounded, and they all have different cooldown timers after shooting. But can we bypass the timer somehow? I built myself a turret and tried getting in and out, but this doesn't reset the timer. Next, I got in a line of turrets and quickly shot and switched between them. This actually does work. If you have a line of turrets, you can quickly switch between them and they will cool down while you are out of them. So this myth is confirmed. You can rapid fire the turrets if you build multiple. For our next myth today, I wanted to test something that dawned upon me in a stream the other day. Almost all bugs in the game now have a stuffed bug variant. But while fighting a sickly roly-poly, I realised that since they look the exact same as the regular roly-poly, they don't have a stuffed version. So, this myth is myth. Does the roly-poly trophy and stuffed bug work on a sickly roly-poly? I first took on a sickly roly-poly with my spicy club, and it took two full combos, or six hits, to defeat it. Then I decided to activate the roly-poly trophy for increased damage, and this time I was able to beat the sickly roly-poly in five hits. That means that this myth is confirmed. The roly-poly trophy and stuffed version do also apply to the sickly roly-poly as well, which is very cool. Finally, in today's episode, I wanted to test the splody rounds for the turret. Myth, what can you break using the splody rounds? First, I tried with clovers, which it works for. Then I tried it with acorns, which for some reason it can't break. It can break grass, but the planks don't seem to drop for some strange reason. When it comes to weeds, it's also unable to break those. It can also break flower petals from the flowers, which makes complete sense. And it does work on dandelions, as they are a tier 1 plant. Weirdly, it does work on rocks, despite it not working on acorns, which doesn't make any sense, as they both require a tier 1 hammer to break. I tried it on a tier 2 marble, which it was also unable to break. Just like the blaster from earlier, it's unable to break tier 2 clay nodes or pond moss, but it can break the regular clay deposits. So by the looks of it, despite being a tier 3 explosive, it can only destroy tier 1 or lower things in the backyard, making it pretty useless. That's all for this episode of Mythbusting. Don't forget to leave your myths in the comments down below. If there's any devs watching, then feel free to give me a call. You know, if you've got any free jobs going, then um, I just broke your game like seven different ways and you now have to fix all those. Don't forget to leave a like on the video. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next Grounded video.